Hey what is going on everyone, this is Wicked and today I'll show you a crucial tutorial if you want to step up the game and get into the development zone of your Samsung Galaxy S8 or S8 Plus. Today I'll be talking about how to install a custom ROM on your Galaxy S8. This will be a short and concise one but in the same time really effective. The only fact that I want to mention before getting into the tutorial is that you should really get familiarized with this one, because it's the foundation of everything related to custom ROMs. Note that the same steps from this tutorial can be also followed for Samsung Galaxy S8 Plus, but you'll need to take caution on what files you're using. The first thing you'll need in order to install a custom ROM on your device is a custom recovery. If you're interested in what a recovery is, how to get into it and what you can do with it, click the video in the upper right card. If you're just interested in the straightforward way on how to install a custom recovery without knowing the principle of it, visit my how to root and install TWRP video placed in the same card right next to the video. After you successfully followed either both or one of my tutorials, come back to this video and continue watching. So, by now you should have TWRP installed on your Galaxy S8 or S8 Plus. Now you should find a custom ROM, taking in mind that both the S8 and S8 Plus have the same hardware except the screen and the battery, most of the ROMs for the S8 will be also available on S8 Plus and vice versa. Although I wouldn't recommend having this perspective in mind, it is really unhealthy. The safest way to find a ROM for your device is to check the forums I listed in the description for your specific device. Usually a ROM comes in a standard one zip package. This package should be placed on your internal storage. Now, in order to flash the custom ROM you chose, turn off your device and boot into recovery mode. From there, it is really important you understand that the process of installing a new ROM on your device doesn't really mean that you lose all the data from the previous one. Fully backupping your current state of the software will always be a great idea, so if you won't like the ROM that you'll be installing, you could always come back to your previous one without losing any kind of data. I always recommend wiping out your device before flashing a new ROM, especially when you already have a backup on your phone. So. Get into wipe and swipe to factory reset. This won't touch the internal storage. After the wiping process is complete, go into install and search for the zip of your ROM. Select it and then swipe to install. Now, most of the ROMs nowadays will come with Aroma Installer, which is a custom interface that will help you personalize the ROM before flashing it. Select what features fit you the best and then start the installation process, which will take from 2 to 3 minutes. After that, you're ready to reboot your device and enjoy your new custom ROM. And boom, that was it. I hope I helped you. If I did, hit that like button and subscribe right down to my channel for more tutorials and ROM reviews. As always, until next time, take care. Wicked is out. Bye bye.